Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. First of all, Happy New Year 2024 to everybody. In this video, we will be covering important jailbreak updates and we have some good news. So if you are waiting for a troll store installation method on iOS 16.6.1 and lower, the wait is over. So as you can see on your screen, we are at the official GitHub page for KFD. So KFD was updated at the time of making this video 11 hours ago and now it supports iOS 16.6.1 also and lower and we will get the troll store installation method for these versions very very soon and if I talk about a full jailbreak iOS 16.5.1 and lower has everything we need for a full jailbreak however for ios 16.6.x we still need a ppl bypass but again for ios 16.6.1 and lower we will get the troll store installation method very very soon in another post you can see that misaka will be updated very very soon which will include the troll store installation method or troll store installer for iOS 16.6.1 and lower for of course 16.6 and also 16.5.1 and lower once it is added you can get Misaka from its official github page under releases so once updated you will simply open Misaka then go to packages then hit this button and from here you will be able to install troll store straight away on ios 16.6.1 and lower also the troll store 2 installation method was tested and it worked you can see that it was tested on an iphone 14 pro max on ios 16.6.1 by nathan and you can see it is properly working also if you talk about the kfd it was also tested to work on ios 16.7.2 though it is missing some offsets but it should be fixed also as you can see according to michael who is a trusted person in the jailbreak community he says that the new kfd likely also works on ios 16.7.4 so you will likely get a new app based jailbreak also for your ARM64 devices meaning all your A11 and lower devices last but not the least you can see this post by OPA334 he managed to get the PPL bypass working on an iPhone SE on iOS 16.5 you can see that he managed to overwrite TTE which is normally protected by PPL of course the device panicked so which means that it did not work but it is still a good progress towards a full jailbreak for all your a12 and up devices on ios 16.5.1 and lower that's all for this jailbreak update video i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care